Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the distance between these two points M and N in this given square A, B, C, D, as you can see in this figure. And one more thing, we have this right triangle B and C, and one of its leg is square root of 2, and the other leg is square root of 8. And here's our task. We are going to calculate the length of M N. That means we are going to find the value of M N. And in order to achieve that, we will perform a series of steps. So let's go ahead and get started with our solution. And here is our very first step. Let's focus on this square root of 8. As you can see, let's go ahead and simplify square root of 8 which could be written as 4 times square root of 2, which could be split up as square root of 4 times square root of 2. We know that square root of 4 is simply 2 times square root of 2. So thus, square root of 8 could be simplified as we can write as 2 times square root of 2. And here's our next step. Let's drop a perpendicular by extending this dm on this line cn. And likewise, let's drop a perpendicular on am by extending bn. That means we are going to extend bn somewhere here. And this is perpendicular and this is perpendicular as well and here is our much nicer looking diagram and this is our perpendicular so these are 90 degree angles so that means all these angles are going to be 90 degrees and moreover all these triangles DPC this one is a right triangle as we can see that one and then the triangle AQB is right triangle as well because this is 90 degree angles then triangle AMD is also right triangle as you can see and finally the triangle BNC is also right triangle and here's our next step let's focus on this right triangle a q b let me call this angle alpha and this angle i am going to call beta and we know that this is a triangle and the sum of the angles is 180 degrees and this is already 90 degrees that means alpha and beta are going to be complementary angles. And here's the definition of complementary angles. Two angles are complementary when they add up to 90 degrees. So therefore, alpha and beta are complementary angles. And now let's focus on this angle, which is 90 degrees and this angle is alpha, then this is going to be the complement of alpha is going to be beta. And now let's focus on this right triangle AMD, and this angle is beta, this is 90 degrees, then this has got to be the complement of beta, which is alpha. And once again, this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is alpha, so the complement of this alpha is going to be beta. So that means this angle is going to be beta. And now let's focus on this right triangle DPC, this one. This angle is beta, this is 90 degrees, so the complement of beta is going to be, this angle is going to be alpha. And now finally, let's focus on this right triangle B and C. We know that this is a 90 degree angle and this is alpha. So this has got to be 
its complement beta so that means this angle is going to be the complement of beta that is going to be alpha and once again let's recall a b c d is a square so that means all of its sides are going to have same length that means this side this side this all these side have same length so therefore we conclude that all these triangles dpc aqb amd and bnc are congruent according to this angle side angle postulate two triangles are congruent if there are two angles and the included side are equal as you can see over here and now we know that side nb this one is square root of 2 and this side nc is 2 times square root of 2 and let's observe one more thing the side opposite to angle beta is square root of 2 and the side opposite to this angle alpha is 2 times square root of 2 that means this side is twice as much of this one so likewise since all these triangles are congruent that means the side opposite to beta is always going to be square root of 2 and the side opposite to alpha is going to be 2 times square root of 2 we're going to repeat this one same thing so this is going to be square root of 2 this is going to be 2 times square root of 2 and likewise this one is going to be square root of 2 and this is going to be 2 times square root of 2. Now let's focus on this triangle AQB we know that this side QB is 2 times square root of 2 and this side NB is square root of 2 then that means this side this QN is going to be just square root of 2 as we can see over here if this side QN is 2 times square root of 2 and we know that NB is square root of 2 so this has got to be square root of 2 so QN side is square root of 2 so therefore by repeating the same process for all these sides we conclude that this side is also square root of 2 this side is square root of 2 and this side is square root of 2 as well and here's our final step let's focus on this triangle m q n and I, here i have copied down m q n and since this is a right triangle so therefore we are going to use pythagorean theorem and here's a pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let's look at in our triangle i'm going to call this side a this side b and this longest leg is always c and here's our pythagorean formula a square plus b square equal to c square let's fill in the blanks a in our case is square root of 2 and then square likewise b is square root 2 as well square equal to c square these square and square root they undo each other we're going to get 2 plus 2 equal to c square so c square turns out to be 4 let's undo this square by taking the square root on both sides so c turns out to be positive 2 so thus the value of m and this one turns out to be just simply two units that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye